In this video, we are going to be talking about the different ways to back up your Photoshop files and the advantages and disadvantages of using certain storage devices. The first two storage devices we are going to look at are SD cards and flash drives. Because of the size, SD cards and flash drives are extremely portable. Flash drives and SD cards can transfer files at relatively fast speeds. Flash drives and SD cards are very affordable. While the size make them extremely portable, this is also a downside. Due to the size, they can easily get lost, stolen, or destroyed. By the way, if you are looking for a good way to store your SD cards, take a look at one of these SD card storage cases. A link to the product is in the description. Flash drives and SD cards are not ideal backup storage devices. They are more suited for transporting data between devices or storing data on a short-term basis. The next option we are going to look at is external hard drives. External hard drives are relatively inexpensive. You can get a 1TB drive for less than $50. Just like flash drives and SD cards, external drives are also portable. Newer external hard drives use USB 3.0 or USB-C, which makes data transfer to and from your computer very fast. If you are going to purchase an external hard drive that uses USB-C, you want to make sure your computer has a USB-C port. Since this port is relatively new and is not available on older computers. External hard drives are portable, which is good. However, this is also a downside because the drive could get lost, stolen or damaged as it is moved from place to place. An external hard drive is almost a perfect way to back up your files, but if you are using it for long-term storage, the files should be backed up to a secondary location as well. Now we are going to look at NAS devices. NAS, which stands for Network Attached Storage, is a storage device which is attached directly to a network. Since some NAS devices are capable of supporting multiple hard drives, you can set up the drives in a RAID 1 array, so when information is stored to one drive, the data is simultaneously mirrored to the second hard drive. So if one drive fails, you could still access your data. If the NAS is connected to your network, you can allow any computer on the network to be able to access the files on the NAS. Also, most NAS devices come with their own cloud service. This allows you to remotely access the data stored on the drive. The file transfer speed is not as fast as direct attached storage. Since the NAS device is stored in your home and not in a data center that is built to withstand natural damage like earthquakes, fire and floods, the device could be damaged due to one of these events, which would result in data loss. While NAS devices is extremely easy to set up, features such as the remote access require some knowledge of computer networks to be configured correctly. Next is cloud storage. Cloud storage is a service that allows users to remotely store files online. The data is managed and maintained and backed up remotely. Files can be accessed virtually from anywhere with an internet connection. Cloud storage is a low cost, easy way to ensure backup and disaster recovery with offsite backup. The initial cost is low, as you only have to pay for what you use and do not need to make significant upfront investments. If you don't have access to the internet, you would not be able to access your files. There is always the concern with safety and privacy of important data stored remotely. While the initial cost of cloud storage is low, the price could add up as you expand and additional space is required. So those are some ways to back up your Photoshop files. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to the channel for other Photoshop related content.